Francisco Story segment tonight, we'd like to welcome the mayor of San Francisco, Gavin Newsom. This is the mayor's first appearance in the No Spring Zone, and many people in the city, by the day are asking, why the heck is he doing it? So, Mr. Mayor, why the heck are you doing it? <laughs> Actually, I watch you every night. I hate to admit this. Whoa. This is going to hurt my progressive base. Uh, but I, I, I think either you're becoming more moderate or I'm becoming more moderate. One of the two, but yeah, I still agree with some of the things you're saying. It's the latter. There's no doubt about it. Well, look, um, we try to base, as you, if you know, if you watch the program every night, our opinion on facts. And I want to talk to you about liberal governance. First of all, I put forth yeah. that the country's moving to the right, and I think the Massachusetts vote showed that. Am I wrong? I, I don't know if it's necessarily moving to the right. I think people just distrust big government, and I think folks are looking for real reform. President Obama ran on a reform agenda and seemed when he got into Washington that it was business as usual, just different players, different constituencies, a different ideology. At the end of the day, I think the uh, Coakley race was really a referendum uh, on the inside baseball nature of politics today. Uh, right, so, so I'm not sure if it's big government or small government, it's effective government. In your opinion, they're disappointed in President Obama's performance and that he, he didn't break away from the Washington establishment so they sent him a message through Scott Brown. Yeah, I think there's a populist upheaval happening in this nation. I think, and I've said this before, that we reject the Tea Party populism at our own peril as Democrats. Uh, there's extreme elements there, and they're rightly being uh, shown the door. But I think that generally uh, people are frustrated and concerned. A lot of independents out there that are not ideological, Republican or Democrat, that are concerned about our fate and future. And I think it's wise for us to pay some attention to that. Okay, but nowhere more than California are people frustrated because the state is bankrupt. And uh, over the la next 18 months, you guys have a $20 billion gap. That means you've got to spend $20 billion, um, and that you don't have. Now, yeah. Sacramento is dominated by liberals. And California, in the last 30 years, has really drifted to the left, as have the city of San Francisco. Somebody looking at this would say liberal governance simply doesn't work. You cannot afford the entitlement programs that liberals want to out put out there. And I think California proves that beyond a reasonable doubt. I don't think it's that simple, Bill, with respect. Look, I, I come from a progressive city. We are balancing our budgets without raising taxes, without borrowing. Our bond rating was reaffirmed last year. We have a rainy day reserve. We have pay as you go. We have 10 year capital plans. We also do universal health care, the only city in America. Universal preschool. No teachers were laid off, firefighters, or nurses last year. Uh, and we're able to do that with a progressive framework. The state of California is run by a Republican governor. It's not just. Yeah, but he doesn't have any system. say over what the legislature does. But the city of San Francisco owes a ton of money. Um, Six point six billion, right? Short yeah, form. that's our budget, and the state of California should hardly cry poverty as well. No, no, so but you just said, look, the city of San Francisco state. is meeting its obligations and and has a bunch of progressive programs. But I'm saying, tell me if I'm wrong. You got a six point six budget budget shortfall. You're, you're no, 6. we, we 6 have a five hundred twenty-two to. No, we have a six point six billion dollar budget. We have a five hundred twenty-two or so million dollar shortfall. Look, last year I had. $438 million shortfall, but we didn't raise taxes, we didn't borrow. But, but Our bond rating, as I said, was reaffirmed, and we were still able to invest in people okay. and programs. So look, I don't just reject uh, the notion that liberals can't govern. In fact, in many ways, uh, San Francisco is an example that we can for all our Pratt Falls challenges, for all the things that are obviously highlighted, and you've highlighted some of them that you may disagree with. Uh, we actually operate in a rather fiscally conservative manner, as surprising as that may be to a lot of your viewers. Okay, but the state of California and the city of San Francisco are spending more money they're taking in. The, city, the state of California, under Governor Schwarzenegger, is bankrupt. You're losing population, which is astounding because California is such a beautiful yeah. place to live. Uh, businesses yeah. are fleeing. The state is in dire, dire economic trouble under a very liberal legislature in Sacramento. So I'm trying to be convinced that the progressive vision yeah. is fiscally sound. I can't be convinced of that. And in the United States of America, we owe $13 trillion. I mean, how long can this go on? Don't you see that the folks are going enough's enough? 
You know, I, again, I don't disagree fundamentally, though I do suggest take a look more closely at San Francisco. You can't find a more progressive city that's managed, and we've been able to manage it. Read our bond rating. You know, uh, look, what let, me, let me speak to you frankly about San Francisco. To understand what we're doing. But San Francisco used to with, be look, my favorite place to $20 billion dollar shortfall. San Francisco yeah. used to be my favorite city in the country to visit. It is no longer because you've got panhandlers everywhere. They're aggressive. They go to the bathroom in the street. You give them money. They buy heroin with the money. You got medical marijuana clinics all over the place. You yourself said yeah. it's out of control. We got to shut some of them down. Yeah. You got a libertine true. philosophy that uh, transvestite nuns break into a Catholic church, and you condemned it, but nobody else did, yeah. um, and, and embarrassed uh, the priest and, and did everything like this. I, you know, I'm uncomfortable going to San Francisco now, and I wasn't yeah. uncomfortable well, look, up to a decade ago. Now it looks like yeah. the inmates are controlling the asylum. If you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, look, I, I was, if, if you know, you, you're a good litigator. You're just focusing on one small uh, piece of the overall True. picture. True, these are beautiful parts of the city, but these are the parts of the yeah. city that tourists like me, staying in a hotel on Knob Hill, are seeing. We're walking down the yeah, street, me, and we're, we're accosted by seven guys. You know, that's Bill, not good for kids. And you're right, it's not good for the city and its image, and you're not wrong to make this point. But let me make this counterpoint. 10,585 people off the streets since I've been mayor, a 40% reduction in the street population. We converted cash to guaranteed access to services, a Care Not Cash initiative, a welfare reform that's reduced our caseload by 83%. We are making real progress. And with respect to 10 years ago, I can assure you the phenomenon of panhandling is not unique to San Francisco. No, or but if you compare decade, San Francisco to New York, time. where they don't allow it, you don't see it, yeah. Yeah. it's big. Big, but, big difference. I'll yeah, give you the last word. Look, we can do we can do a much better job. I, I acknowledge that. But please, don't just think it's because of progressive politics. State of California, Republican governor, they've got real problems. The biggest problem is governance. We need a constitutional convention in the state of California. We need to change the framework. Right, I of might governance. move out there and There's run, a lot and of run reform that's necessary and, and solve all your problems. So. <laughs> we know, you we may need you, Bill. I appreciate you coming on, though. It's good to see you. Thank you.